Good evening, uh, my professors. I will talk about endovascular therapy of AV fistula flow, dysfunction, and central vein disease. OBA, DCB, drug eluting stents, cover stents, or what? By Dr. Shah Mustafa and presented by Mustafa Nagar. Before starting, let's ask this question. What is the function of AV access? It is the lifeline that enable efficient dialysis. Actually, this answer is deficient. Function of AV access enable efficient dialysis without compromising the limb, without compromising the life. And so, this function, AV access, has its impact on dialysis and the limb and the life. If we take the limb as an example, dysfunctional AV fistula and central vein disease has its impact on either limb viability as a steel syndrome and limb usability as seen in this photo. When we discuss treatment, we should consider two issues. The first is the target. Our target is to efficient dialysis and the limb viability and usability, safe life, and better quality of life. The second issue is the treatment modalities. It's open approach or endovascular approach. However, we can use hybrid as uh, in the com complicated venous aneurysm and thrombus load. However, the concept of endovascular first approach is there, and we can say that so long there is no infection or resistant hypotension, each AV access warrants a trial for endovascular salvage. The main concern in endo salvage of AV access is to deal with a single or multiple steno occlusive pathology at different locations as arterial site, anastomotic site, venous juxta anastomotic, needling segment, junctional, or central. In spite of the concept of all lesions will re-occlude and all access we will fail, we should target to, to the lesion patency and access patency. The question is, BUBA or DCB or drug eluting stent or cover stent or what? BUBA and especially high pressure non-compliant balloons are the gold standard to obtain patency of the lesion. But do we need extra technology to maintain patency? What about drug eluting technology? Multiple studies concluded that drug eluting balloons as being safe and, con and convey some benefit in, tr in, in terms of improved rate of re stenosis when used to treat AV access disease. Drug eluting balloons significantly delay re stenosis after angioplasty for non maturing de novo and the recurrent autogenous arteriovenous hemodialysis fistula stenosis presenting to 12 months. Drug eluting balloons significantly increase freedom for re intervention in stented and unstented fistulas. The body of evidence is small and clinically heterogeneous. A large multi centers may help to clarify the role of drug eluting balloons in the precutaneous treatment of AV hemodynamic access stenosis. Drug eluting balloon and geoblasty is more efficient treatment option for AV fistula stenosis at the juxta anastomotic site. Also, from our vast work in this field, we can say that repeated BTA is as durable as the primary BTA using drug eluting technology. 
What about stents? Bare metal stent, dedicated venous stent, drug eluting stent, covered stents. Stents and covered stents are kept for the management of triple C. Complications at dissection and perforation, central outflow venous stenosis or obstruction, cover parts of anastomosis in case of steel or high flow access. Drawbacks, the first drawback of stents and cover stents, the presence of metal or metal and fabric may compromise its use in needling segment. The second drawback of cover stent, it may occlude an important tributary or major confluence that compromise future access. Our conclusion, high pressure balloon, a to high technical success rate, drug eluting balloon, prolonged long term patency in certain situation, stents and cover stent are used in triple C's indications, angioplasty needs to be repeated in order to maintain long-term latency. Thank you.